What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, this was voted on by the channel members and we're going to be covering what are 10 of the best smelling clone fragrances that I've ever smelled. Some of these are affordable Middle Eastern. Some of these are, you know, cheapy designers and got niche in here as well. Just, you know, clone can go across the board here. It's not specific to smaller, cheaper fragrances. There's some niche brands that do it too. So we've got 10 total 10 count them 10 in this video like i said voted by my channel members so let's discuss them stay tuned so bulgari tigar is one of the best openings in fragrance i've ever smelled i have a sample of it uh, I would like to get a bottle at some point, but I got to tell you what, for the time being, Afnan Tarathi Blue does the trick. Obviously not on the same quality level, but they lock down the scent profile here. Beautiful spiced grapefruit at the top with some woods. It's as simple as it sounds is what it's, that's what it is. But just a lovely smelling fragrance. Performance is actually pretty decent. I get about eight hours on my skin with this as well. You can get it in the 30 some odd dollar range. It smells incredible. It genuinely smells incredible. I would strongly encourage you to give this one a try. If you were curious about Bulgari's Tigar, if you've smelled it and just wanted an affordable way to smell like it, that's a great clone. It really is a great clone. Like I said, for the money, pretty hard to beat. Afnan Tarathi Blue. Next is one of the best cheapies I've picked up at the rack stores ever. This is basically a clone of Chanel Lorome Sport. It is Missoni Wave. I mean, it's not one-to-one -one exact, but you can tell that is the route they were going. This is a great fragrance. Bit of citrus. It's a little creamy from this orchid and vanilla that they have going on while still being aquatic and aromatic. This is such an attractive DNA, such a great fragrance for the warmer weather. Daytime, if you're wanting people to tell you you smell good, there's no guarantees with any fragrance. But a scent profile like this will definitely heighten the chances if you're out fishing for compliments, which don't fish for compliments. Wear fragrances because you like to wear fragrances. But I got to tell you, the wearing experience is great with this one. I'm a huge fan. I've been raving about it since pretty much the day I got it. At the recording of this, it was early last year. And I'm a huge fan. If you see this one out there, this is one that I encourage you. Roll the dice. It's, it's a worthy blind buy, in my opinion. There's no guarantees you'll like it. Boy, the likelihood is definitely high because this smells incredible. It is basically Chanel Lorome Sport on a budget. Missoni Wave. This is my wife's favorite scent profile, and while this does smell cheap when you compare it to the original, which is right here, Silver Mountain Water, Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage, it's easy to appreciate this one. It, it, they really did lock down the scent profile here. It is a great clone. It's very metallic. Don't be wrong. It smells cheap and synthetic up close, but out in the air, this is really good stuff. It's a very inky, sharp metallic citrus, a little bit of that herbal tea feel as it dries. It's a little musky. Clean fragrance overall, great performer, 30 some odd dollar, mid $30 price point, and high compliment factor DNA. Like I said, my wife, huge fan of this, whether it's this one, um, Al Rehab Silver, Creed Silver Mountain Water, Zerzhov's Mephisto, Metal Rain from Banner Republic. I mean, there's a bunch of really good ones, but if I had to pick one that I think is just the best smelling of all of them when it comes to the clones of that DNA, it's easily Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. Now, this one's a very recent pickup. Uh, this comes from Paris Corner, and it is basically vintage Dior Homme. It is from the Pandora Scents line. This is Camaro Homme Intense. This blew me away. Blew me away. Such a just bomb of waxy iris sweet vanillic sweetness a little bit of musk a touch of leather but just super super waxy oh, man if you were ever a fan of Dior Homme Intense they nailed this one this one continues to impress me this is such a great fragrance I strongly encourage you if you want Dior Homme Intense on a budget vintage Dior Homme Intense too this is this smells like the older formulations to me uh, this is really, really good, guys. Really, really good. Impressively good. 
I did I stress it's really really good uh, if we were ranking this this would have been in the top two probably that's how much I like how this one smells it really gives you all the feels if you've ever smelled vintage Dior Homme Intense so keep that in mind you gotta like that crazy waxy lipstick iris smell though because it's loaded down with it again that's from Paris Corner this is Pandora Scents Camaro Homme Intense now while not exactly a one-to-one -one clone, when it comes to Aventus clones, there's a ton of them out there. there. That's no secret. There's a ton of them. But for me, this is the one I get the most joy out of when it comes to affordable ones. Because we have a niche one we're going to discuss in a moment. But when it comes to affordable Aventus clones, I'm off Club de Nuit Intense Man, the limited edition Parfum. This is my favorite. Now... I'm a fan of Afnan Supremacy, not only Intense. I'm a fan of Cadlage Infini Absolute. There's, there's some good ones. But this is my favorite. So it still has that lemon from the original that's kind of a turnoff for some. It's candied here. It's not as sharp and synthetic because the oil concentration is higher. It's still all of that smoky, magic, beautiful smell of Club de Nuit Intense Man, the Eau de Toilette, but it's richer, it's smoother overall. It's got all that fruitiness. There's a little bit more sweetness to this one versus the Eau de Toilette. It's not as loud, still a strong fragrance, very long lasting. I'm a huge fan of this one. I really am, I, I have been from the moment I smelled it. It's my favorite version of Club de Nuit Intense Man. And for the money, it's the one I would encourage you to check out if you're looking for an affordable take on Creed Aventus that performs great, smells good, pulls compliments, has versatility, checks all of the boxes. This is definitely the one. Arm Off Club Wind Tense Man, limited edition parfum. Now with that, I said there was a niche one that we were going to discuss here. And I don't wear it that much. I grabbed this 50ml from Kingdom Fragrances a few years ago. It's not easy to get any more. Prices have gone up because I believe it's discontinued. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it is. It is fruity Aventus. There's no smokiness here, but it smells like a very fruity, fresh take on Aventus. I mean, rich fruits, too. It's bondnumber9.com. I kind of hoard this bottle. I don't use it a whole lot. I love this fragrance. The lack of wares does not mean I don't love it. I believe there's a little bit of juniper in here as well that adds this aromatic fruity tone to go with all the other fruits. <sighs> Clear as day. Going for Aventus, but this is like the, the fresh woody take. Very fresh, but woodsy. I believe it's vetiver. It could be some other types of woods, but I believe vetiver is what it's centered around. Uh, without the smokiness, without the florals, without the hefty musky tone. Like, it still manages to smell like Ventus, but just uh, in better, in many ways, better to me. Uh, now, they do have other versions out there, like Scent of Peace from Bond Number no. 9, for example. That's a great take. But for me, it's this one for sure. Like I said, I it, because it's not that easy to get anymore, I kind of hoard this 50ml, but it's phenomenal. It's bondnumber9.com. This next one is pretty much a dead ringer for my favorite fragrance. My favorite fragrance is Invictus Aqua, the 2018 formula. Here you sub out some lavender, some soapy lavender, for what is a powdery violet in the original. This is Halloween Man Hero. I think they did such a good job really capturing the essence of that scent profile. The citrus, the aquatic tones, the muskiness, the woody tones. It's all here. It's just instead of powdery violet, you have soapy lavender. That's really the only difference. Still has a little bit of that bubblegum feel that Invictus is known for. I'm a huge fan of this one. I strongly encourage you guys, instead of going seek out an overpriced bottle of Invictus Aqua 2018, just get this for the money. This 4.2 ounce is going to be 30 some odd dollars you'll spend on it because I've been seeing the prices really skyrocket on Invictus Aqua 2018. I'm assuming it's no longer available. I'm not confirming. I'm just going based off of the skyrocketing prices uh, and availability issues. So I would encourage doing this. Uh, Jesus Del Pozo, they straight up made a clone of it. Like I said, I would. it's... 85 90%. It's not one to one, but you can't smell this and not think of that. It it had to be in here. It's one of the best smelling clones I've ever put my nose on. 
And it's Halloween Man Hero from Jesus Del Pozo. This wowed me from the first time I ever smelled it. Uh, so I've only smelled the original one time. And it was, like, so powerful, it was obnoxious. But the quality was, was mind-blowing. For the money, it's expensive. It's Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. So here we have Paris Corners version in the Emir line, Lord Despoir Ombre. This gives me all those same feelings. Jammy, rosy oud smell. It's got a little bit of patchouli smell going as it dries. It's smoky. Quite funky. Super, super powerful. Uh, this one, it's kind of in a league of its own. The quality. That's the biggest thing that surprises me. Look, not everything Paris Corner puts out is loaded down with high quality oils. Whereas this, you can tell they used quality raw materials. This smells incredible. Oh, man, for an oud fragrance, this is just, it's a, not intoxicating and not delicious. I'm trying to find the right word, um, but it makes a very strong statement. This stuff's potent. You got to be easy on the sprays with this one. This will overwhelm you as the wearer, let alone those around you. But the biggest thing for me is quality. i shocked at how good the quality is on this fragrance, especially for the money. It's easily one of the best smelling clones I've ever put my nose on. Again, that's Paris Corners, Emir, Lord Despoir, Ombre. One of my favorite scent profiles of all time is Amouage's Reflection Man. So when I got my nose on this one, and it was pretty much spot on, just a little bit more yellow floral than the original, I was impressed. This is Cutlage Shiaka. This is Amouage Reflection Man. Like I said, the Lang Lang stands out a little bit more in this one than the original, but that's pretty much the only difference I can detect. <sighs> that slightly herbal, vegetal feel, that creamy, powdery, fresh iris, the woods, like I said, that Lang Lang hit. It's all here. The elegance of the Reflection Man DNA, it's all here. The performance is here as well. Eight to ten hours, easy on skin. And this stuff's loud. You don't need a lot of sprays. This one continues to impress me every time I smell it because I don't know if you would need to get Reflection Man because this is such a good clone. It really is. I, I just, it, it's almost mind-blowing how accurate this is because it's not a huge drop-off in quality. And it's pretty much the same scent profile with just the slightest of... And it could be my mind playing tricks on me with smelling more yet Lang Lang in here than I do in the original. Could just be me. Who knows? But I'll tell you what. If you want Reflection Man on a budget, this is one of the best smelling clones I've ever put my nose on. Hands down. It's Kadlaj Shiaka. Last but not least, I still think this is one of the best clones ever made. I've smelled many renditions of it. But when it comes to Bond number no. 9's Andy Warhol, none do it better than Sensual Obsessions. I have a few different bottles from a few different variations. I have the newest Parfum version. I have a very old batch. This is kind of middle of the road as far as batches. So juicy, sweet plum, deep, rich, woody oud that provides a little bit of funk. There's some warm spice, nice and ambery. I only wear this one in the winter. I'm such a fan of this one. I have been for a long time. Man, I kind of saved the best for last. This is incredible. Um, Kevin did such a good job on this. He really did. I This is always the one that I encourage is a must try. If you're going to order samples, bottles, whatever. If you're going to make any kind of order from Central Obsessions, at least a sample of Bond Number no. 9 Andy Warhol needs to be in there because it is that good now there is a little bit of funky oud that stands out here like i said it's not necessarily gonna be for everybody but that sweet plum oh man does it make this one special and performance is absolutely stellar so the next time you're on essential obsessions website do yourself a favor and grab at least a decant of bond number nine andy warhol well that was the 10 that i have for you today and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe because i do appreciate all the feedback and i love hearing from you guys What's the best smelling clone you've ever put your nose on? Let me know down below. Was, was it featured here or is it something totally different? There's a ton of good ones out there, but these are the 10 that came to mind when this topic came up. Thank you to all the members for voting on it. It did get a ton of votes, so had to deliver, and we created this, this piece of content. And uh, this was a fun one to do.
And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.